Welcome back to The Talking Hedge. I'm Josh Kincaid, Capital Markets Analyst and host of your Cannabis Business Podcast. All right, today we're going to take a look at a report from Headset to kind of give you an idea of what's being sold, how much, where, all of that uh, complete sales analysis, diving into quite a few markets in North America, beginning on the West Coast. Uh, and then we'll kind of show East Coast here in just a second. Starting off with California, $427.9 million for the month. Not too shabby. Still uh, stair-stepping its way up. Colorado's relatively flat, $147 million. Nevada, you know, $75 million. Uh, it's rebounding a little bit from uh, the, um, the traffic. I've heard it's, it's picking up quite a bit, as a matter of fact. So hopefully we'll see some more tourism and uh and volume. Washington and Oregon, like we've mentioned, are kind of the baselines. It's what I anticipate or expect the average um, sales to be. Uh, Washington, 130 million. Oregon, 110 million. Up in British Columbia, a little late to opening uh, rec shops. And so they're only at 100, they're only at 41.7 million. So not a lot of sales for them. But again, I think they just had an incredibly late start up there. So looking a little bit towards, uh, you know, the East East Coast, uh, as well as up in Canada, Alberta jumping off at 61.1 million for the month of May for total cannabis sales. Uh, Illinois, we obviously see some more because of uh, its relatively new rollout at 144 point million. So definitely an outlier there. Massachusetts, hopefully they won't have uh, any store closures the next time there's, um, you know, serious uh illness and everything. It was not deemed essential business at first and then obviously made a huge impact. So they are rebounding significantly, 108 million. Michigan, 152 million. So obviously uh, people are coming from all over to go there. Ontario, they just canceled all of their summer events. So a little bit more conservative. Maybe people will take, uh, take to the cannabis stores. We're seeing 87 million up there in Ontario. Saskatchewan's really small rural area, still 12 million. Uh, Pennsylvania is new to the report. And so with uh, Pennsylvania, we are seeing 100.3 million. All right, running through year over year sales growth, California 25% kind of coming down as they normalize. That's that's good. That's what we would normally see. Uh, Colorado 31%. Nevada year over year sales is going to be skewed because they were so hit by the pandemic that they have a 75%, uh, 73% uh, sales growth. That's dramatic versus what we're seeing in Washington, 10, 10% sales growth. So actually stair-stepping the other way, which is a normalization, you're going to see that. Um, so again, Washington, Oregon, I would look at those as kind of a normalized marketplace, uh, still 23% year over year sales growth for Oregon. British Columbia, much higher, uh, new stores, new product rollouts, you know, for nine months, whatever. Um, and so, yeah, we're seeing 74% British Columbia. All right, year over year for Alberta, 46%, 119 for Illinois. That's what we would expect for a new market. Don't have anything for Massachusetts, but uh, Michigan, 147, 147% year over year for Michigan. Um, Ontario, 135. Uh, for whatever reason, Saskatchewan uh, is only 23%. So maybe there's some more um, you know, legacy growers out there. <laughs> and then Pennsylvania, newer market, 85% year over year. So I would expect that to continue to increase. I like looking at the average basket size. That is how much people go in and spend on average gives a good idea of kind of what people are doing um, and some of the uh, purchasing behaviors behind that. So California, $65 for minimum delivery. That's why you're seeing around 68 bucks right now because people want to hit that delivery. So obviously they don't want to go into the store for maybe convenience or maybe they're still you know, afraid. Um, whatever the reason is, they've decided to stick to that model. Um, and that price point is carrying over to Colorado, $63, and then Nevada, $62. Washington and Oregon, though, we kind of buy what we want, when we want. So that's why Washington is at $36 and Oregon, $43 for the average purchase price. And Colorado, I mean, I'm, British Columbia is probably the same. So $43 up there in BC uh, to go and buy it out of probably convenience. So $43 for Alberta, but $109 for Illinois. I'm assuming it's still some serious long lines. Only $91 on average for Massachusetts, 
Uh, Michigan is coming down at $79. And again, for whatever reason, Ontario is not spending a ton, $49 probably, you know, I don't know, maybe not the best of product or it's out of convenience, one of the two. So I have to ask some Canadians here uh, pretty soon. Saskatchewan, pretty small numbers, $43, but Pennsylvania, 143 bucks. So I always uh, find that interesting looking at new markets that uh, come online. Obviously, $143 is a bit, but probably coming from uh, outside of the state and or hoarding. So nothing new there, but always high numbers in the very beginning. All right, taking a look real quick at uh, the number of purchases. We're seeing 6.2 million purchases in California, 2.3 million in Colorado, 1.2 million in Nevada. Washington and Oregon, we're seeing 3.5 and 2.5 respectively, but only 900,000 in British Columbia. Average basket count uh, for Alberta is 1.4 million, 1.3 for Illinois, Massachusetts has 1.1, 1.9 for Michigan, 1.7 for Ontario, Saskatchewan has 200,000, uh, which again, I would expect for kind of a rural area, uh, not a whole lot of sales, but probably a lot of loyalty. <laughs> And then uh, Pennsylvania, 600,000. And finally, brand concentration. This is kind of let us, letting us know uh, top 10 uh, manufacturers, how much they dominate the market. In California, only 27% of the, you know, the top 10 brands have um, the total market share. Whereas in Pennsylvania, I think the, the top four brands pretty much grabbed all of that market share right off the bat. So 85% is concentrated in just um, a small number of of um, brands out there in Pennsylvania. Don't have a whole lot of numbers um, quite yet for this particular metrics. Um, so I mentioned California 27, Colorado 34% brand concentration. That is vertical integration kind of gives you that more opportunity to not let in so many other uh, competitors. Um, so that's maybe another thing you wanna take a look at whereas Washington does not have vertical integration. We're only at 23%, Oregon's 25%, Nevada, however, 40%. So maybe they have exclusivity uh, like some big box stores have uh, down in Nevada, you might be able to, to get that. BC only 38%, Alberta 35. Um, and then we'll have to wait and see what the, the other numbers are. So. All in all, numbers are uh, are increasing. It looks like some of the markets like we would anticipate with Nevada kind of coming back um, hard, which is really good for that tourism. Colorado relied a little bit more on tourism maybe than some people anticipated. However, I think um, California not getting people into the stores is going to limit them. So we've only been seeing $65 on average for purchase price. Um, you know, whereas, you know, if we go maybe back to last year, average purchase price, um, you know, we saw $70 back in May of 2020 and August of 2020. So it hasn't come down too much. Um, so maybe not as much as I would have anticipated with uh, the delivery fee being set like that. But uh, there are interesting you know, markets, Illinois, Pennsylvania, anything that's new is going to be um, having a lot of people come from outside to try things and, um, you know, hoard, on, hoard products and whatnot. So you're going to have really, really high year over your sales growth, like Michigan's 147%. Um, but none of them are going to even touch California's cannabis sales, which is already $2 billion dollars year to date. So we do this every month, come back to the Talking Hedge to find out what happens next. With that, we're going to roll this one up. I'm Josh Kincaid. This is the Talking Hedge. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, or don't, and I'm out. Don't forget to smash that like button on your way out and check out these other videos that we've got.